Elon teases the release of version 10 software, the Tesla pickup unveil is delayed a bit, we get a Tesla gaming update, and more. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 539 for July 31st, 2019. This show is sponsored by my supporter, Richard. If you're in the market for a Model S, X, or 3, please consider using his referral code. Ask your salesperson to use code RICHARD174 or go direct to the web link ts.la slash RICHARD174 and pick up a 1,000-mile supercharging credit for your new vehicle. Normally, after an earnings call, we get a bit of a lull in news, but it seems that Elon took it upon himself to personally fix that with a flurry of tweets regarding the features of version 10 of Tesla's car software and when we might expect it. It started with Elon tweeting about entertainment options while your vehicle is stopped. Quote, Ability to stream YouTube and Netflix when cars stopped coming to your Tesla soon. It has an amazingly immersive cinematic feel due to the comfy seats and surround sound audio. End quote. Ryan McCaffrey replied asking if this was part of software version 10, as in the past, Elon had said that these would be features in that release. He replied, quote, Yes, V10 will include several games and infotainment features, improved highway autopilot, better traffic light and stop sign recognition, and smart summon, end quote. So smart summon is planned to come to the masses as of V10, breaking free of the early access program. But when might we see that? Elon said, quote, Depends on how release to owners with early access goes, but hopefully wide release by the end of August, end quote. Of course, we always need to be cognizant of Elon time, but hopefully this rings true. Another of the features coming in version 10 is the ability for the car to read your text messages to you, courtesy of a positive acknowledgement to a question from at jgrano305. Pile of features coming, hopefully soon, can't wait to see them. While the time frame for the Tesla pickup truck unveil has always been the nebulous answer of sometime this summer, it would seem that this might be even getting pushed back further. Twitter user at Jeremy Green Lee asked Elon, quote, any updates on Tesla pickup unveil? We're dying here. We need to know, end quote. Elon responded to Jeremy saying, quote, we're close, but the magic is in the final details. Maybe two to three months, end quote. Two to three months would push us solidly into the fall at that point, which is slightly disappointing when, as Jeremy so eloquently put it, we're dying to know what this thing actually looks like. Elon wasn't done on Twitter, though, as he gave us some gaming updates as well. After the official Tesla account made a post about chess rolling out to all the cars, Elon tacked on to tell us that Cuphead was coming in August. As someone who actually beat this game, I'm very curious to see how it plays in the cars. That is a Twitch reaction game for sure, and any delay would make it unplayable. But we weren't done with the gaming news yet. Twitter user Taylor Cavanaugh poked Elon saying, quote, Minecraft right now, Elon, end quote. Elon responded saying, quote, we're working on it. Agreed. Minecraft is high priority. Roblox, too. End quote. And then finally in this thread, user at FLCNHVY, Falcon Heavy, I'm guessing, asked, quote, if you're porting Unity, you could bring Hearthstone to Tesla. End quote. Elon responded to this one saying, quote, Unity port is done, so finessing the controls now, mostly limited by local storage. We'll allow additional game storage via USB, whatever's most fun, end quote. This is one of the more peculiar things I have ever seen. Here we have a major car manufacturer focusing on getting games into its cars. When Elon said on the Rogan podcast that a Tesla wasn't exactly a car and that it was something to maximize enjoyment, he really wasn't kidding. Lastly, this show just wanted to call attention to a Tesla meetup happening this weekend in Dayton, Ohio on Sunday from 12 to 3 that's been put together by everyone's favorite Tesla pastime, the Frunk Puppy Friday contest. Tesla owners in the area are encouraged to sign up at the event page included in the show description to hang out with other owners and enjoy some food and beverage at the Eudora Brewing Company. The event is free, but donations will be accepted to benefit Pups for People, a charity that helps get therapy and service dogs to people that can't afford them. Frunk Puppy merch will also be on hand if you're interested, and 20% of those proceeds also will go to Pups for People. This being a Frunk Puppy event, pets, and children as well are invited to attend. But again, please register before attending as a ticket will be required. I'll be there, and I hope to see you there too. 
That is it for today's show. Thanks to all my patrons supporting the show at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. And always a special shout out to all the super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sport Line, Michael Pastroni, Travis and Cheyenne Rush, Chris Hovis, Craig Murphy, Vicky Kirk, Ricky Johnston, Bien Concepcion, Nathan Garza, Paul Gona, and Ed Patterman. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again on Friday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.